much better. So, the plan is we go down here and we dig these out too deep. Right now, they're only one deep, so we'll dig them out one more. to the surface. to only be two blocks deep. Okay. You can hear our lovely kelp farm running behind us there. I just kind of wanted to do this little part on cam so that way you guys kind of know what's going on and where it's at. Um, I'm probably going to do a time lapse right after I finish clearing out. Oh wait, that stays there. Clearing out and uh, laying the groundwork essentially for this. do need to get on the ball with the conduit thing because I do have a conduit I just don't have the prismarine for it yet so I really need to get on the ball with getting that set up especially considering how much I build underwater This part's more just so we know where the farm is, should we ever need to uh, do some work on it from above. To the surface. And, uh, with my fancy new set of armor, I actually have Aqua Affinity on my boots. So, I still need to get Feather Falling on them though. I don't have a full enchanted set of gear yet. There are still several things that I still need to enchant. But I do have an Aqua Affinity Respiration Helmet. Which is why spend so much more time down here on the bottom of the 
the ocean. Okay, one more. yellow concrete so from above we can tell definitely where they are and one thing we're gonna have to do is block off all this light that's coming through over here Not exactly sure how to do that. I probably have to do something like this. I really need to figure out how to block all of this light because. gonna mess with our spawn rates and stuff. I don't really know where it's coming from on this spot. That seems like it's it's a weird light source that's not supposed to be there. You guys see what I mean? Like why is there light right here? The the opening and stuff is over here at the chest. So I don't really understand why the light goes all the way over. But from my understanding, light can give issues with spawns and such. Yeah, it, see, see, the light's still here. Like, I don't understand it. Anyway, let's let's put the concrete in and then we'll move on to the next part. And uh, if you guys are wondering, this design I actually got from a guy named Avomance. I'll probably link his channel down in the description so that way you guys can go check him out. He does a lot of really simple farms. Like Most of his farms are so simple you could probably do them in the first day you're on the server or in a world. They're that easy. Like this, you don't even really need it to be yellow concrete. It's just that makes it really bright so you can definitely see it. But it doesn't need to be yellow concrete. It could be just, it could just be the regular sea floor. You don't really need, even need it to be anything fancy. So, I think from here, we'll go ahead and roll a little bit of time lapse of me building the rest of it.
pretty easy setup. Um, now, the one thing we need to do is just turn these into water source blocks. Which, you'll be able to tell that they're water source blocks because the, the bubbles will start forming. Now if we watch, that dirt should get sucked through by the minecart hopper. Yep, there it goes. Alright, so let's go ahead and fill in the rest of these. There you go, you see, I got stuff getting picked up and tossed into this chest as the minecart hopper comes around. Um, we're gonna probably wind up connecting this up with the uh, room next door for the kelp farm. Um, I just have to go through and figure out. Um, location stuff. So that way we don't have to come underwater to come check out this place. Um, one thing I'm probably going to do is add in a couple more hopper mine carts, which is why I left this here. So that way I can just put in another button on the other side and just start injecting more hopper mine carts into it. So let's go ahead and make that button real quick. Okay. So there we have it. That's our new fish farm slash squid farm slash drowned farm slash aquatic things farm um don't know how well it's gonna do honestly because i don't see very much spawning here and part of the problem is honestly that we don't we, we have a lot of people on the server and when that happens most of the people are in like 
watery biome type areas, so it takes up our fish cap pretty quickly. And since we're kind of like... Since we're kind of like... The only ones out here in the middle of this area, they're not also loading our fish farm. So, yep, there you guys go. One almighty fish farm. Hope you guys enjoyed, and again, if you want to see the full tutorial on how to build this fish farm, uh, go check out Avomance's channel. I'll have it linked down in the description. Bye!